Hey babe, so we're jumping right into today's video. So this is my Bohemian heart-shaped crochet wig. I'm gonna go ahead and just make this wig from materials I already have laying around the house. So here I'm gonna be constructing this unit on my 22 inch block head, which I would highly recommend for anybody who is trying to get into wig making. Definitely invest in a block head. It's gonna save a lot of time and just make your units fit really perfect. Here I'm taking a crochet net. This is kind of like a crochet dome cap. If I can find where I purchased this from, I will leave the link down in the description box below so you guys can know the name. But I'm just fitting it on top of the block head. And because my block head is a fit to the circumference of my head, this is going to be a perfect fit. All right, next up, I'm taking my crochet needle. This is what I'm gonna be constructing the unit with, just a regular crochet needle. I'm just gonna secure this unit in place with these pins all around the perimeter just to make sure that this unit is secure while I'm constructing it. Okay, also I do wanna mention that all of these materials I already have laying around the house, so I didn't have to go out and purchase anything um, because I pretty much already had my wig stash ready to go. Um, also, I do wanna mention that you do want to identify with a pen, a marker, anything um, to make sure you know what's gonna be the front of your cap versus what's gonna be the back. That's super important when it comes to the construction. Next up is the hair I'm using. This is by Ziri. This is the braided crochet, and this is in the lengths eight, nine, and 10 inch. This is from their One Pack is Enough series, V-shaped finish style in the Bohemian um, a color 1B. All right, so this is a gorgeous texture as you can see. As I open up the package, it has a really nice luster. It definitely mimics natural African-American hair. Um, and so I'm just gonna take it out of the packaging just like that. And as you can see, the, the various lengths right here. So I couldn't really identify what was the eight inch, what was the nine inch, what was the 10 inch off the bat, just because this hair is very, very curly. And I really had to kind of line them up side by side to really get an idea of what is my shortest length and up to the longest length. All right, so you're gonna see me do that in just a moment, but take a look at this texture, take a look at how natural it looks. And I'm just really excited for this install. Okay, so once I've selected the length I'm gonna go with first, it's just time to jump into the installation. So I'm taking one single strand and I'm splitting it into two. I did this across all three bundles. Um, and so you get uh, double the hair for this one pack. So one pack is definitely enough. As you can see here, I'm just doing the normal crochet method. I am only knotting it once. However, you can triple knot it, double knot it. Um, but because of the kinkiness of the hair, I only felt the need to knot it once. All right, as you can see here, here is my first length. This texture is gorgeous. And because I split the webs, I got a little bit more texture, a little bit more volume, and this hair is just absolutely gorgeous. All right, here's more of the installation. This is another length. So I've got everything laid out on my lap just so that I can easily um, access the hair as well as install it on the cap itself. All right, so I am at a, a weird angle trying to show you the method I'm using, but um, it's very, very simple. And uh, this took me, I wanna say it took me about two hours to get through this unit just because I was taking my time um, installing the hair and I had a bunch of other things to do. So I was kind of stopping and going. So um, yeah, about two hours I would say. All right, and here is a little bit more progress. As you can see here, I'm almost at the top. 
All right, and in this clip, I am completely done and it closed up very, very nicely as you can see. So now it's just time to take off the unit and I'm gonna show you uh, what I added to it. So as you can see here, I've added two wig combs to both sides um, and that's just gonna go in the front. I didn't add any combs in the back just because it's a pretty snug unit for the most part. So I didn't feel the need to add any combs in the back. So I'm just gonna make, so, make sure that the combs are secure in the front and then um, I'm just gonna go ahead and start to cut this unit. But as you can see, it's really big hair. I think the next time I use this hair, I am gonna get it in a different color. I'm gonna get it in burgundy and I'm also going to um, cut it in a different style. So we will see. All right, so here I'm getting to uh, form the shape of the heart. So I'm kind of just trying to figure out where is gonna be my starting point. Now, I will say this portion of the video, I had to split the cutting portion into two just because I wanted to make sure that I was satisfied with the overall cut of the unit. So I cut it on this day and then I cut it on another day. Um, and then I pretty much um, was satisfied with the heart shape. And that's the portion of the video I'm actually gonna go in depth about the entire construction process. So don't worry if I missed any details in this portion. Okay, love, so I went ahead and I slipped this unit on. So let me go ahead and get into a couple of details about the construction of this unit. So I did purchase two packs of hair when I was on vacation in California. And I had every intention of using the hair during my vacation, but I did bring it back to Texas with me. And then I just had it sitting around the house trying to figure out what I wanted to do with it. All right, so I kind of browsed through a couple of videos on YouTube and I was inspired by, you know, just some heart shaped units that I did see. So I figured why not go ahead and try to recreate that look. So that is what I've got going on right here. All right, so I did purchase two packs. I only used one bundle from the second pack. So overall, I did use two packs, but I only used one 10 inch bundle from the second pack. All right, so how I've got everything layered during the original installation is I've got the shortest lengths at the bottom and then the longest lengths at the top. So I've got the eight inch, the nine inch, and then the 10 inch, okay? I don't know why I'm out of breath. I'm just sitting here, literally. Mm -mm. All right, so yeah, um, that is how I installed the hair. Now, I do wanna mention that I did a lot of cutting. Like, I feel like I cut it the first day and then I went back and I cut it the second day. I was done constructing this unit just because I did not go to cosmetology school. So anytime I am cutting or putting some scissors to any type of hair, I'm really just trying to take my time, cut small amounts, and then go back, look at it, and then see if I'm satisfied with the overall result. So at this point, I'm pretty satisfied. I definitely feel like there is a little bit of work that I can do, but with you know my skill set, I definitely feel like I nailed it. So yeah, it's still coming off a little Michael Jackson uh, thriller-ish. <laughs> But <laughs> it is around Halloween, so you know, maybe that's why it's in my brain in that type of way. But regardless, this is still a very cute look. I love the natural luster of this hair, it's definitely mimicking natural hair in general. I won't say like what type of curl pattern, but it's mimicking natural hair in general. And then because I did split the wefts, it definitely has some extra frizz in there. So um, it makes it a little bit more frizzy and a little bit more natural. All right, so because I did add extra volume in the top, this part is really full and voluminous, and that is exactly what I was going for. Now, if you are going for a natural look, I want to emphasize that one pack is definitely enough. And I still feel like, honestly, if I gave it a chance and I only used one pack, I still could have achieved as much volume as I have here. So going forward, I'm only gonna use one pack of this hair. I do plan on purchasing this hair in burgundy just to see how it's gonna look. You know, it's fall, so I do wanna experiment with a little bit of color. All right, so going forward, I'm only gonna use one pack and I recommend that to you as well. 
all right but for the most part I'm happy with this overall result and I will be posting pictures on Instagram so if you are not following me definitely go follow me at Gabby's Queendom I'm trying to get a little bit more active on all of my social media platforms so definitely follow me I will have all of that information down below but yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about this particular unit it was very easy to construct and I feel like if you are stuck at home or you're in some type of quarantine this is definitely something you can do that's very quick simple and easy so if you guys have any questions definitely leave them in the comment section below also if you are new here welcome and take a moment to subscribe down below and also tap the bell so you'll get alerted when the videos go up all right thank you guys for watching see you in my next one bye guys